Yo, yo, yo! Hi. <laughs> Hello there. And welcome to All About the Bass. Uh, with me, Nathan. And me, Lee. Nice to see you. Yeah. Hey, man. What are we doing today? Oh, we have, mate. We have Mesa. Mesa Bass. Mesa Bass. Mesa Bass, which is lovely. We've never... Never featured anything on the channel before from uh, from Mesa, as far we as I'm aware. We haven't. It's very no. obvious that you're not saying Mesa Boogie at this point. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is a little bit, yeah. Is, is, that, is, bit. That, is that intentional? Well... Because I always, I always say Mesa Boogie. It's just a natural thing. Yeah. Because that's what I know it as. But apparently that, they're, they're separate things, right? Well, I, I've just been told by, say, the, the, the fountain of knowledge that is Pete. Um, uh, as is aware that so basically the, the boogie name was kept apparent for one series of amps, so the Mark Mark series original originally um, to kind of try and keep that as the boogie side, Mesa Boogie. Okay. And the Mesa Engineering was everything else, but so we come under the, the engineering part. But, so um, you learn something every day. There we are. Uh, um, cool. All right. So Mesa Engineering then. Yes. So Mesa Engineering have brought out quite recently this range of yeah ultra lightweight. Um, bass amps and uh, bass bass rigs. So um, well, that was really no, that was the first thing I noticed actually, as the boys lugged all their gear up the stairs, oh. and then I sort of unpacked it. Uh, yeah. it that was the, they're incredibly light. Yeah. So yeah. They, they really have suddenly got with this whole neodymium uh, speaker thing, right? This is it. This is it. So yeah, finally, um, obviously we're getting mesotone, which is which actually we haven't had to, have to do much to get that that sound out of it, and it's it sounds sounds great. Well, yeah, um, I mean these are these are set flat. Everything's so yeah, everything's so flat. We're just playing around with the voicing, voicing dial to try and give that a little bit more presence. But yeah. um, but basically, there's a few. This is part of the range here. So we got um, the D800 uh, subway head, um, which was the, is the standard, the standard head, um, and this is the plus D800 plus. Um, the plus points mostly being, as far as I can see, um, effects loop. Right. If you should need, uh, and you've got a little bit more uh, control frequency on your frequencies. Sorry, control of your frequencies. Um, with uh, some more uh, filters, so you've got high pass filter and a uh, low low filter on here as well. So it just expands out the EQ a little bit more. It's wider. Um, it's a bit wider. So you yeah. can stand more drinks on top of it. Yes, like it. That's yeah. always handy. Always and room for here. If you want to stack round. Yeah. Still enough. Uh, but so chasers. So the same power then. Same power. Yeah, about 800 watts. Okay. Um, so, uh, but yeah, you just get a little, little bit more control on this one. Actually, I'm just seeing you've got another little switch here. You've got a bright switch. As well as the deep you get on the 800, okay. you get a, a bright switch on the plus if you needed that. So, uh, okay. But, we, but really, yeah, same same idea of um, same sort of construction, same same amplifier, just a little bit more, a few more options here. We've got 112, a 115 subway cab as well. Um, I think there are some more in the range that we're, I think there's a 210 as well possibly, but um, but yeah, this is what the the kind guys at Mesa have sent through to us to, to have a look at. So, All right. well, what you heard there in our little opening. Uh, load of nonsense there was uh, I was going through this top one uh, which is the subway D D800 and then going through this 112 with a horn mm. and you were going through the D800 plus, plus. going through the 15 yeah with a horn yeah and also I've got a nice old jazz horn um nice old jazz 60s uh, original jazz you got the brand new oh, I have look I've got, the, I've got the, the ninja sort of the latest whoa, yeah I, I think it's the 2600 is it oh my god Oh, I can't see. SR 1405, I do apologise. So I was just about to say that. Do you know what? Rolls off the tongue. But um, SR 1405 in this uh, yeah, glacial white finish, which is one of the new ones they've uh, released at NAM this year. Right. So uh, we've just finally got a few through. So Okay. And, so and just different. an additional thing about what you're hearing, obviously because we're, we're previewing the cabs as well as the amps. So we've got the amps DI'd, so straight into our you know interface. But we've also got these cabs mic'd up. Uh, so, you know, you'll be hearing at various points some, some of the amp DI'd and some of it mic'd up, I guess. Just to... uh, yeah, so, I mean, just to show the folks at home... Uh, what the, this means. The yeah. difference, yeah. So, DI sounds like this. <laughs> and the cab sounds like this. Should I do it with mine? Yeah, man, yeah. So you got the 12 instead of the 15. Right, so, DI. <laughs> Sounds like this. Sounds like this. Is that what you played? Yeah, pretty much, yeah, bang on. And the cab yeah. sounds like this. Yeah, 
Yes. There you go, see? Hey, 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 hey. I think we should go through this then uh, and start seeing what all these buttons and knobs and switches and things do. What do yeah. you say? Yeah, absolutely, man, absolutely. How do we, how do you want to start? Do you want to do, what, should we do the plus? Because it's just got every, it's got everything this well, the has. Plus, yeah. That and makes sense. That. Yeah. yeah, all right, go on then. You, you, have, a, a, you have a play. Uh, we've got these dip switches at the front. Yeah. Uh, so, so, mute, obviously. You've got Andy. a little switch come on. You play something. It works. Uh, and then play. Oh, amazing. Right, and then we've got uh, like a little passive active switch. So, yep. you've got a passive bass. Yeah. So, we have it set on passive, and that gives you a bit more gain on the front end. And then, Shut if you've got an active bass, you switch it on active, little light comes on, and then it's got a little pad on the front end. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's, we don't need to fiddle about with that. Uh, <laughs> deep. Oh, De oh, deep. Right then. Uh, let's try a bit of a, uh, okay. so this is no deep. No deep. Deep. Mm. Mm. All deep. right. There's a bit of depth there, I can see. Bright. <laughs> Off, but without bright. Without bright. With bright. Mm. That's all pretty straightforward, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still with you so far. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's kind of the same thing as the voicing, really. I, I th imagine that's what that's going to do, is do a bit of... Uh, yeah, this is interesting. Uh, a bit of tone I, sweeping, you know. It says, like, flat and boost on this voicing part. I don't know if it's actually just boosting the whole signal or if it's... No, it's just not. Just no, different... it's, it's, it's like tone shaking, I'm, I'm sure, because when, when I was playing and you did it on, uh, on my one, it suddenly brought it all to life. Right, cool. But let's find out. We're going to cut straight to the voicing because I want to. Let's check this out as we're talking a minute. Do it. So this it is off. flat. Okay. And, we'll, oh, and I'll just dial it in, and then we'll see where what, what it does. Sweet. What are you thinking? What yeah, are you feeling about that? Well, definitely some low end. It, it seemed to just, yeah, yeah, as you say, I think maybe just highlights oh, the top and the bottom. Sounds I think it's, it's that normal sort of voice shaping, uh, yeah. smiley face sort of thing that's happening there. Yep. All right, good. Well, that definitely does something. Input, that's your gain. I'll just turn that down a little bit, actually, because you were clipping a little bit. There's a oh. little there's a little overdrive light there, a little amber light that, that, that clips. If we overload it, I'll show you, right? Hit oh. it, hit it. Overload. <laughs> So you just bring that back until that stops clipping, and then um, you're not overloading the amp. Love it. High pass filter. Ooh. Ooh. I say. Yes. This is one of the features you get on this that you don't get on the. Okay. On the D800. Righty ho. Oh, let's start with that all the way down there. You play something, and I'll um, notch through it. Okay. We're in A still. That's essentially, that's essentially winding out the bottom end. Yeah. Because yeah. you see that goes from sort of 30 uh, hertz up to 150 hertz. Uh, and it's, you know, on, on, on sometimes on, uh, on EQs, on studio EQs, you can you can sort of cut the low end and then yeah. vary how much that, that does it. Well, that's what that's doing. That's cool, because I was actually expecting that kind of high mid frequency change to kind of come in. You know, they can kind of get that swell, but, but actually, yeah. no, as you say, it's just really... Now, that, that doesn't affect the top end, it just... Uh, just rolls in and out the bottom end as you desire. Love Between it. 30 hertz and 150 hertz. Oh, what else? <laughs> it hurts! <laughs> right, uh, and then we've got your EQ. Uh, yep. Uh, so, yeah, bass, low mid, uh, gain, low mid frequency. Okay, so a bit of parametric on the mid there. Absolutely. And then a bit of top end. So, uh, you have a play. Oh, yeah, and the high mid frequency as well. So, yeah, high, high mid gain, low mid gain. Yes. Frequency and frequency for each, so. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Like so we, yeah, we got uh, two band mid, sort of parametric there, mm -hmm. and then top end, yeah. I can't, yeah. Good, right. So we have a, I'll have a fill about with that. Oh mate. And you uh, carry on with your A uh, Odyssey. I? No, do, oh, do whatever you like. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That's nice. Well, it's quite musical, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, really? that, that, that mid stuff really all uh, brings things to life, doesn't it? You know? It does. The low mid sounds great as well. Doesn't doesn't over overpower it. It doesn't over. It's not over overkill, but it's just lovely sort of yeah. say, frequency. Yeah, it's, it's highlight. Uh, very nice. Like it. Okay, so there you go. That's it. There's your EQ, and then you just got a master vol on the end there. Crank um, it. Let's and then, we, ooh, hello. We've got a little protect light on there. So uh, if anybody tries to attack you on stage, this, this light, light comes on, and it's so bright that they can't see what they're doing. <laughs> and there's a limit on there, and uh, that's what, if you had too much to drink, that light comes on, and the barman won't sell you any more <laughs> beer. <laughs> What's on the back? Uh, so what we, is on the back, mate? Well, we've got two speak-on outs. Yeah. So, you know, you can uh, do your amps in uh, series or parallel, mm -hmm. however you like. Mm -hmm. Uh, what have we got on here? Impedance on both of these amps. Uh, so you can set the, select the impedance. Nice. For, okay. uh, for depending on what cabs you've got. It four or eight, is it on there, mate? Uh, it's not, actually. Oh. No, it's two and four. Ooh. Yeah, so depending on how you're running the cabs, you can uh, swap that. Um, two we've got headphones, uh, headphones out on both. Okay, yep. Uh, we've and got, this one should have the, is it an effects loop on the bottom one? This one has got an effects loop. It's also got a mute foot switch. Ooh. Yes, and Ooh. it's got a, uh, a tuner output. Nice. Uh, top one doesn't have that. And they've both got aux in. Love it. And they've both got these three dip switches, uh, which uh, this is oh, really not comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, oh, it's really not. Oh, hang on, I'm going around the back. I can't work like this. That was an amazing angle. Oh. <laughs> so, Over the mic. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Oh, uh, DI out, right, you've got some DI out options as well. Cool. I'm sure the boys will do a sweep of this in a minute, so you'll, you'll, yeah. you'll cut it in so you'll know what I'm talking about. So there you go. Okay, nice. That's, what a very comprehensive uh, roundup of the amplifiers, I find. Yes. I find you'll agree. <laughs> <laughs> and the cabs, uh, yeah, well, uh, this is a, a surprising amount of bottom end. For a 112. For, for a 12 massive. that isn't on the floor. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's pretty big, isn't it? it no, it is, absolutely, mate. Say, and for it, it's, so I've got the 115. I was looking at that also when we first got it out. I wasn't too sure if that was a 15 because the cab looks very compact. They've, you know. they've, they've crammed it in there. Yeah, but you've still got the. the I think it's 14 well. and a half, actually. I think they've, <laughs> they've invented a new speaker. Break the mould. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. And I believe you get a little gig bag with these, is that right? You do, yep. A little gig bag for the for the heads. Oh, somebody look at this. throw a me a bag. Beautiful assistant. Woohoo! Well, that's nice, a nice touch. Yeah, man. So, and, yeah, so, and, a little, and a little case. Yeah, all right. And a little leads pouch at the front. A little pouch, anyway. everything you'd need. So I suppose the, the all important question is, how much, how, how much, do you much? Want? How much do you want? So um, the D800, so as it is, the first one here is 999. 99, well that's very easy to remember. 999. Stop no. just making a thousand and stop messing about. A thousand. To you, 999. To you. All right, so that's a thousand pound. <laughs> Thousand pound, and this one is one one two nine. So actually, for the extra bits that you get for one hundred and thirty quid extra, yes. effects loop, extra EQ, yes, a bit more switching. Yeah, um, you've got the foot switch options you said on there as well. So if you want the mute and the tuner out. Yeah, um, one hundred thirty quid is not much more. If, it's if not you're already much, at a grand, it's not much more. But you might think I've already got a tuner. Um, and yep. I want it as small as possible. Then you yeah. and I have got 130 quid. You might think, oh, I'll have this one. Fine, that's I'll say, it. I'll yeah, spend 130 ready. quid on uh, the, you know, <laughs> yeah. down the pub. Yeah. So uh, yeah, options mm. there. And the cabs. We've uh, so 900 for the 112. Right. 900 pounds. 900 pounds. 1050 for the 115. Let's say that really quickly. Yeah, it's it's not. <laughs> but it's, it's not cheap. But then it's not cheap. It's not. You but, know, this is messer. You think when we're at this level, we've got Aquila that we've looked at before. Yeah. Actually, looking at 900 pounds for a 112 cab there as well. I think when you get to this sort of level of um, of production, of quality, of we haven't even touched on what they do for their QC process. Messer, you know, a 48 hour burn test to make sure that their amps are going to go out right. And and you know, at the end of their at the end of the line, everything is just meticulously checked. So right. there's that extra extra line of quality that I'm sure you do get with that 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 level of base amp when you're sure you get with Aguilar dark glass as well, you know. So sure. when you're up with this money, it does get a little bit pricey for, for your whole kit, but you know, this is stuff to last a lifetime. You of know, course. Built, built to last, so. Yeah. Um, nice and oh, compact, very, I like that. I like, the, uh, I like the, the smallness of it. Yeah, and as you said at the very beginning, man, you know, to be able to pick up a Mesa, Mesa rig in one is, yeah. is, is nice. Well, you know? yeah, if you're and, basing a gig, a gig bag yeah. you know, over your shoulders and then in and out of the gig in, in one gun. Yeah. Lovely, what more, more could you possibly want? And run for beers. 
and chases. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Okay, well, I think that about wraps that up, don't you? I do. Look at that. But uh The 800 messes. Yeah. Come and give them a try. Yeah, see for yourself, see what you think. But we like them. Absolutely, yeah. Love it, mate. Cool, all right, great stuff. Well, this has been All About the Bass. I've been Nathan. And I've been Lee. And uh, if you enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Come and see us again. We do this quite a lot, so, uh, you know, you come and check out some other old rubbish. We're every Friday. We're every Friday. <laughs> Except long, some. Long. Except some. When we... Not. I'm sorry. But most. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there now. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm fit. Uh, I wasn't playing with you. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> great, all right. We'll see you next time. Uh, let's have a play of something then. Yeah. Come on. Love it. See you soon. Oh. Awesome. Love it. Good. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.